Come Jason, part of Constellations here uh, from May and uh, March, and this is our gear. First, this is my, uh, it's a 1977 ES335 in that stunning walnut finish. Um, I've got stock pickups in here. Um, it's got the stock coil split that year, which is something I thought was cool. came from the factory that way. Um, as far as replacement stuff, it's had a refret. I've got repro tuners on there. Um, and then I know that one of my pots was replaced. I believe it was the uh, bridge pickup volume pot. Um, but other than that, all of the circuitry, all that's uh, original. Got a, a new bridge and a bone nut. Um, but everything else is, is stock, man. This thing just feels good. And really for how old it is, like it's, it's in great condition. It's super clean. For a long time, uh, I was using actually a Telecaster Fender, like those thin line Rishi with the wide range humbuckers. Um, recently got this as a gift actually from my girlfriend. Um, in, I guess it was November now, so about five months I've been playing this. This has been my dream guitar for as long as I can remember. Um, so I'm stoked to be using it. I'll probably keep playing 335s. I just think they sound good, man. There's just something about it. So, so I've got um, Ernie Ball Super Slinkies on here, just the regular 10 gauge strings. This is my pedal board. I've got it all on a pedal chain, just a PT1. Um, it starts, I'm going into the polytune uh, on the front end. Uh, from there, going into my Walrus Audio Deep 6, six compressor. Uh, it's an 1176 uh, type clone. I love this thing. It's got this blend knob on here, which makes it super usable. Um, doesn't squash too much. Uh, from there, I'm going into my double barrel uh, by JHS. Uh, it starts, it's got a Morning Glory and a uh, uh, Tube Screamer 808 setting. I'm going into the Tube Screamer first. Um, I'll use my Morning Glory kind of as an always on thing because I'm using a pretty clean amp. Um, so I'll get that as kind of my bass breakup, and then when I want to kick it up and out, I'll hit that 808 and really just kind of gain it up. Uh, from there, I'm going into this Hofner Fuzz. I just kind of, I don't necessarily use this a ton live, um, but it's just a fun thing to have if I want, you know, almost like violin type sustained things. It's just like a $50 fuzz on Amazon, super cheap, but uh, it sounds super cool. Uh, from there, I'm going into my volume pedal. Um, this is just, you know, VP Junior and Ball. Uh, out of the volume pedal, going into the Walrus Audio Julia. That's uh, a chorus vibrato. It's got this cool mix knob where I can kind of toggle between uh, chorus and vibrato, anywhere in between, and then this light control makes it super usable. Kind of just like tilts it off axis in a sense. Uh, a couple different waveforms. Um, super cool pedal. So from there, going into the Cloud9 uh, reverb pedal by Sky Pedals. This actually turned into the JHS Alpine now. Um, but this is a V1 version of that, um, and it's kind of got, you know, I, I use it as like an always on, and then I've got kind of an infinity mode, if you will, where it just kind of like blooms and gets fat. Um, from there, I'm going into my delay section, first into the Strymon L cap, uh, which is a tape delay, and I use that uh, live for slapback, and then I've got this hold function on there where it just kind of like infinitely repeats. Um, and then from there, going into the Boss uh, DD20. And particularly live right now, we're using this uh, for the reverse delay setting. We just got it tuned into a BPM. Um, and then there's this section of a song where it's got the reverse delay, which is super cool. Uh, from there, going into the Old Blood Noise Procession Reverb. Uh, super cool reverb. It's got uh, kind of all these tricks up its sleeve. This hold switch, which will just make it go forever. Um, I've got three different effects, either flange, Ottawa, or tremolo that I can filter into the reverb. Um, and then I can also, if I just throw it all the way up, it'll just go forever like that as well. Um, so we use that for kind of looping and, uh, again, just kind of big washy parts. Um, I'm using the T1M top switch for my DD20. Uh, to tap that in, but then from the procession, I go up into my 360 looper. And I've got a couple drowns in different keys that we use for like transitions during sets and, and things like that. Um, and so that's pretty much the board, man. We're using runway audio cables exclusively. Our, our friends Austin there uh, hooked us up with those, and I've got the board wide with those as well as you know in between guitar and amp. So. I'd say the pedal that defines my tone the most, I'd say, is the JHS double barrel there. Um, it's just a super versatile drop pedal, just having the option to either uh, run one at a time or stack them, and I can choose which one is first in the chain. I've got bright switches, I've got three different clipping modes on the tube screamer, um, and it's just super versatile. I've had this pedal probably the longest of any of these um, through many different amps, and it just kind of works with everything, so that's kind of my consistent uh, drive sound. So. The amp here, um, I'm using a 1974 uh, Fender Silverface Deluxe Reverb. Um, I bought this and it was dead stock down to the speaker, the tubes, caps, everything. Um, obviously not super safe, so I switched that over. I got a full recap, got the power, cable upgrade, um, and then what else? And then a retube as well. So it's still got the original speaker on it. Um, but this thing sounds super good. It's a workhorse. So, so before um, before this amp, I was playing a uh, Matchless Clubman actually, um, which is you know an AC style amp. It's got um, 12x7 and EF86 in the preamp, so it's super bright, nice picky. But 
Um, my lead guitar player, Cole, over there is kind of playing a similar style amp. So I wanted to switch them up, and I had always wanted to go vintage. So the Fender just has like a super round, kind of fat tone, and I play most of the rhythm guitar. And so uh, it just works really well, like complements uh, the other guitar in the band, like super nicely. So. Thanks for checking out all our gear today, guys. You can find us on Instagram at Constellations Band, Facebook at uh, Facebook slash uh, Constellations Music Official, um, and then we were on Spotify as well. Uh, we just dropped two new songs, a song called Stopwatch and a song called Blue. Uh, be sure to check those out. Thanks for, thanks for joining us today.